Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie, and this is another weekend of Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. In today's video, I am going to share a few tips for you to help you decide, one, whether or not to invest in taking private lessons, and two, whether online or in-person lessons will be right for you. Before we get into that, I just want to say thank you so much to all of my patrons and channel members for supporting my channel. The past three years have been really special to me. It's been great getting to know all of you. And so I really appreciate you all taking that extra step to support this channel. If you're not already a supporter, just a few things to keep in mind that supporters get on a regular basis. One is they get the weekly excerpt delivered straight to them on the Patreon or YouTube app. And in addition to that, there are other cool perks like being able to send me questions to answer in videos, one-on-one um, -on -one meetings and group calls in addition to random other things that I decide to share with patrons and members. So if you're not already a supporter, please consider doing so. And I look forward to seeing some of you there. Before you start with taking private lessons, the first thing you should ask yourself is, are you practicing every day or at least on a regular basis? It's not your teacher's job to practice with you for 30 minutes or 60 minutes once a week. That's not going to make you better. You are your own teacher every day of the week. And the one day that you see your teacher, it's their job to help you help yourself. So they will just keep you on track. They'll coach you. They'll give you things to practice, to focus on specific areas of your playing to help you improve over time. And so you will get so much more out of lessons if you practice on a regular basis. The next thing to ask yourself is, are you going to practice what your re teacher requires you to do? This is a really big one as many teachers are very strict with the methodology they use to teach various concepts. And so they are strict about that because they know what works. And so if you were willing to make an honest effort to do what your teacher wants you to do, you will definitely see improvement over time. All right, so if you're already practicing every day and you are ready to do what your teacher requires you to do on a regular basis, then keep watching for more tips. Okay, so when you're trying to decide whether to take online or in-person lessons, um, I think the first thing you should think about is who your teacher is going to be. And it doesn't really matter if it's gonna be in-person or online. Um, ask yourself, you know, is there a specific teacher you want to study with? Do you want to study with somebody who is playing professionally, who specializes in clarinet, who has a good track record for specific things in clarinet playing? So if you're a beginner, you may not care if your teacher is, you know, in whatever symphony orchestra, but you may care whether or not their main instrument is clarinet. So those things are very important. I've, I've gotten students who have had beginning teachers who are, uh, they, they pay money for private lessons for these people who are like trumpet players or, or, you know, percussionists or something, you know, people who aren't actually clarinet players. And so my issue with, with that is while they may be fine musicians and could coach somebody who is already a little bit more advanced, they're not great for beginners because you need somebody who's going to help you know what to do with your mouth, what to do with your air, all of the trick fingerings, things like that, that somebody who only knows how to play your instrument, who specializes in your instrument is gonna be able to do. So make sure that you pay attention to those things. Um, as you get more advanced, you may find somebody who inspires you, who you want to play like, and that's okay. You could reach out to them, see if they teach private lessons and see what their rates are. Of course, the, the more um, proficient the person is or the more famous they are or the more busy they are, um, the higher the rates are gonna be. Um, but typically it's going to be worth the money because they are going to really help you move to that next level. Another question to ask yourself, um, 
How important is it to you to be able to play with your teacher in person? For example, um, I like to play duets with some of my students in person because they are better at learning things by listening. And of course, all of us <laughs> should be good at learning by listening. Um, but when trying to teach concepts of tone and um, pitch, it's a lot easier to teach that when you're doing lessons in person. Now that being said, there are many ways you can teach that to somebody over Zoom. It's just a different skill set. So you have to decide whether or not you want that in-person lesson experience or if it's not that important to you to play with your teacher, then online lessons may be a great option for you. And then the last thing is um, what kind of equipment do you have? Example, how new or old is your computer? Um, I've had some students have to go out and buy a whole new like webcam microphone setup because their computer is very old and the camera and the microphone are both really bad on their computers. Now if you have something made within you know the past like five years you're going to be pretty set. Um, also, a lot of smartphones have pretty good video and audio quality as well. Um, but you're going to get a lot more out of your online lessons if you have really good equipment, um, including a good microphone so your teacher can hear you. So um, you just have to be willing to invest a little bit in your um, equipment to be able to have the best experience with your teacher. All right, so those are some of the things that I would ask if I were considering whether or not to take in-person or online lessons. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have really, really excellent students who do both. Um, I, I have one student who is a graduating senior this year and they are going to music school and they have gotten offers from a couple of really excellent colleges and I heard this person play for the first time. I've been working with them for almost two years and I heard them play for the first time in February in person and they sounded incredible. They sounded really, really good. And so I guess what I'm trying to say is if you have the right teacher, they will keep you on track whether or not you're in person or online. And so, um, of course, I'm going to pitch my own studio. Um, my, if any of you are watching this and you're interested in taking lessons with me, I do have a form you can fill out on my website. Um, I don't have any openings until about mid-May of this year, um, and that will be in preparation for lessons over the summer. Um, but feel free to contact me as soon as possible because I have a wait list and I will reach out to students as I have spots open up in my studio. All right, so. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you get a lot out of this. There are lots of great teachers out there who are local and who also teach online as well. And so don't be afraid to explore your options. And you know, not every teacher is great for every person. So if you're not happy with who you're working with, then take a few lessons with someone else to see how it goes. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a good week next week. And as always, happy practicing.